Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource Channel. In the previous video we were able to make a diagnosis on this washing machine and specify the part which was needed to do the repair. I got the part, so let's go together and fix it. And in order to get to that coupler which is broken right here, I need to separate the motor from the transmission. So I'm not sure if I have enough space here to move the motor that way, right? So I might need to remove the pump, but I will first try the easy way. Remove the clamps which are holding the motor and try to see if I can replace that coupler. I will start with loosening these that I don't rip it off from the motor connector, electric connector right here. To gain the access to this clamp which is on the back I will definitely undo these two clamps which are right here. So this is the first one, right? That won't go away and I will do the same with this one. And voila! There's some more space for me to get to that back uh, clamp which is right here. This is basically how you remove the clamp. I put a screwdriver and just take it off like that. Before I will do the back one I need to make sure I'm supporting the motor so it doesn't fall down and something breaks, the connector breaks on the on the back. And the back one just popped off and I can see immediately the motor is loose and we will see if I'm able to remove that coupler and replace it. And after wiggling it around a little bit, look at that. This is absolutely fantastic. I have the whole motor outside and as you can see I got that broken coupler out. Right? So this is fantastic. Now both sides are the same so you don't have to like worry, oh my god, how, how was it in? And you can see here is that broken part, right? One was good, now you can see it, and one is broken. Now it's definitely time to show you the detail. So here you can see that was that the rear uh, clamp, which is still sitting in the place, so that will be a little hassle. This is where the motor comes in, to the shaft, to the transmission, right? And that's where I'm going to install that new coupler. So here is new part still in the package. I paid approximately 16 bucks for this. It's actually the uh, motor coupling, that's the name of it. And it's improved version and I will show you the differences between the old one and new one. If you look here, the new one has like a metal insert in it so it should be a little bit stronger or much stronger I don't know but they redesigned the part here is the whole part the brand new part so I'm installing it on the transmission right and I will have to make sure it goes all the way in now I discovered that those steel inserts or steel pieces in that uh, new model are kind of tight so I'm using here the socket, which is the size of that steel area, and I nicely, carefully tap it on the shaft, which you see right now. It's perfectly fitting. And I will do exactly the same right here on the shaft of transmission. I will, sh I will show you the detail on the shaft of the transmission. So this is as far as it goes, right? Right here. You can see by the hand. So I will use again that socket, which is, I'm making sure I'm touching just the steel part, and I will make it go nicely on that shaft. Now I will just go ahead and install that soft ring, right, on one part. Obviously this is our last chance to clean everything around, bring the vacuum or at least the rack 
and uh, clean everything before we will put it back. And now comes the tricky part. I need to match the motor with these four points. I have to align this coupler, right? It took a little bit of wiggling. I was able to make the middle part. I started with the rear clamp. Now I will go and install the front one because I have way better access to it, right? Come on, baby. So, this is it. And sorry. And as you can see, it's all nicely hooked there. So, this is good. I'm checking that this is nicely moving freely, right? So, this is good. And I'm ready to start installing everything back. Just putting back the hoses. When you are seating those clamps, just make sure they are perfect as they were. Pay attention to the detail, it goes all the way to the stopper, right? And then just pay attention, because you don't want to have leaks here later. You don't want to be coming back to it, so just make it perfect first time. I will put back that protective paper as it was there, kind of protecting the bottom of the motor from the moisture. And basically all I have to do is put everything back the way it was and hook the washing machine to the power and to the water source. Here you can see that the washer is running happily again. Thank you for your time. I hope you was able to learn something or discover something new about the mechanical stuff. Uh, please make sure you will subscribe because I have way more videos on this channel coming your way soon. Thanks and see you in the next video.